Welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. In this episode, we're going to be looking at the humble item frame and the comparator and seeing how the two have very magical and interesting properties. Say hello, Wizardkeen. Hello, everybody. It's Wizardkeen here. We're both in our Steve skins because we believe that the Minecraft servers are down and um, the reason Wizard Keen's here of course is because uh, It's on his account that this world is on so I'm here at his at his guest request So he's just gonna stand in the background because of course as you know, he is me so this episode is all about comparators and item frames and the strange relationship they have with each other. Now, I want to show you this because uh, it is really good for creating mini games and other bits and pieces. So I wanted to just sort of uh, illuminate everybody and just to show you some of the things that I, I think are really cool and interesting. And I think you can kind of do really interesting things with them. I'm gonna show you two examples and some of the kind of base mechanics. And then in the description, you can, uh, or in the comments below, you can let me know about any of your ideas and what you might be able to do with them. So here's the basic premise of an item. Everyone knows there's an item frame and you can put different things into an item frame. You could put an apple, okay? You could put a redstone torch. You can put any kind of block you like in there. Now, as you can see, when I'm putting blocks into, you could even put an item frame in there. How weird is that? Uh, you, the light behind us is lighting up and that's because we've got a comparator uh, sticking out the back, pointing away from the item frame in here. So whenever we put an item in the item frame, it sends out a plus one signal. So we've got one light lighting up. Okay, so that seems pretty cool. That means we can kind of almost create switches. So we can have that on and off. So if we put something in there, it can go on and we take something out of there, it goes off. So there's opportunities to create a switch, if you like. But there's also opportunities to create much more than a switch, a switch that, with a variable length of power. The way we do that is we can kind of put something in there, and then if we right click, click it again once, we have got a signal strength of two, okay? Watch the lights in the back. That's once, tw twice, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. Oh, not all the way. So that's zip. That's like one. So it's in there in the one position. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just before it goes back into the one position. So it actually gets a signal strength all the way around, all the way around. But it doesn't get the last one. The last one over here it won't go because we'll get back to the one position, which is facing straight up. So that's kind of cool. I think that's kind of cool anyway, because it means that uh, we've got variable strengths. Uh, it means that you could have a key, right? And then you could put it into the lock and turn the lock to open the door. And there we go, we can go through the door, okay? So this mechanism works exactly like this. So basically, let's take it back to the zero position. So it's got a signal strength of one here. So this, uh, th there's the comparator behind the item frame. And if we turn it all the way up, it will reach this redstone, let's get that out of the way, it will reach re this redstone lamp, which will invert the lamp, turn that lamp off, turning this one on, that'll send a signal over here, send a signal across the door to open the door. Check it out, watch, one. Okay, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there we go, that's gone all the way along here uninverted that redstone lamp there, invert, you know, turn this one back on, sent a signal along these repeaters along here, which fills up the lovely redstone above the door, powering the door and opening it up, which means we can go through. So there's a kind of a, a lovely, I like that kind of mechanic because it looks, feels like you're turning a key. 
Now, when things aren't in here, there is no signal at all. So when things are in there, for example, an apple, okay, uh, then there's a signal. So you could have things like, um, say we've got an apple tree here, we've got target practice, and we want to fire some apples. Hey, did you see that? There's a little firework. So every time I fire an apple out of this tree, it fires a firework up in the sky. Now it could fire a firework up in the sky, or it could even signal a, um, uh, a scoreboard giving us a new score as well. So you could even make little mini games uh, out of this mechanic. It's really good. And it's a kind of old school mechanic as well. So I'll just show you how this one works. So again, there you go. If there's an, if there's an apple in here, it sends us one signal out, okay? Inverting that there. So a signal reaching a block. And then if there's a, um, if there's a redstone lamp on top of that block, if the block is powered, it, it that inverts the redstone lamp, uh, which means that there's no signal going to this dispenser and there's some fireworks in here as well. Uh, so when we knock the apple out, boom, it, uh, it, it makes this uh, give a power thus powering our dispenser and firing off a rocket in the sky. That could be a dispenser. It could be even a command block with a command in as well. So you could have all sorts of stuff. You could even stack a range of commands as well. So there's all sorts of things going on too. So that's one of the kind of simple and easy ways of kind of making this uh, making this happen. I love the way uh, this kind of stuff works. So just, you know, we thought... Uh, that uh, item frames were just these boring things that kind of, you know, you just put an item in and it's very, very cool and stuff like that. But it's so much more and you can do so much more with it. Anyway, so that's a really quick and uh, simple 101 ideas for Minecraft learners. I hope you've enjoyed it and do let me know in the comments below if you've come up with any games or any designs of your own that you'd like to share with us and with myself. Until next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.